Hey everyone, welcome to the weekly reading for Sagittarius. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Sending all of you love and light. So Spirit is wanting you to focus on what inspires you, what gives you joy, like focus on your passions and your hobbies, um, your create your creative abilities, 111 on the camera, um, creativity, yeah, a new direction. Maybe there's something that you guys are going to be going in like a new direction or, you know, you're being guided to, to pursue something else and move away from something else i just heard it's okay some of you guys are maybe not feeling like it's okay to go in a different direction it's okay to focus on you for a while it's okay to you know walk away from a situation permanently or even for like a time being all right don't stay in a situation out of fear is what i'm getting like it's okay for you to do what's best for you or focus on your dreams and your passions um your career whatever it is um, yeah, consciously choosing intention, focus today, create same tomorrow. Notice what you say and what you think. Okay. So let's see. What does that do with, Oh, what do we have? Volcano. Uh-oh. Respond versus react. Spurred into action. Hmm. Yeah, there's something here about choosing a direction. Hmm. Which direction is going to bring you progress and which direction is going to bring you stag just more stagnancy? I feel like you guys may be about to be tested by the divine to see if you guys are ready to progress or if you guys are still stuck or stagnant or something. What there's a I don't know. Let's see volcano say affirmations. Hmm. They're telling you to utilize affirmations. Say your affirmations as, as if they've already manifested or you already in, are in that current reality. But what does this have to do with volcano? What's about to be, tr what's this trigger energy trying too hard? Force creates resistance. Let go and watch it flow. There's something about you guys letting go and um, just resting, focusing on you um, is going to trigger some type of reaction because something was stuck and it was maybe what, what was what was making a situation stuck because it says force creates resistance. So you were guys, you guys are maybe trying to force a situation to go in your favor or trying to force somebody to do something that you wanted them to do trying to force something to happen on your timeline. And that was actually creating a very stuck energy. But now that you guys are maybe shifting your focus onto yourself and kind of just going with the flow and um, yeah, going with the flow and letting things happen the way that they're going to happen. It's like now some type of action is happening here. Cause you were, yeah. What is this daily habits? Self-care, like, yeah, you guys are focusing on you. You're making healthier choices for yourself. Um, what does this have to do with this twin flame situation? Living purposefully. Life by intention, following bliss, yeah. It's like, you guys have just, like, kind of restructured your life or there's a need to, like, you guys, and it's like you are, you're the center of your life now. You're focusing on you and your passions and what makes you happy. And the divine was trying to guide you to do this. So well, how does this relate to the twin flame situation? So we have mayhem. Yeah, it's like some, now that you guys have like, you guys have maybe set some type of intentions and you're not focusing on it too much. You, you just set it and now you're just focusing on yourself and you're like just letting things flow. Um, not trying to control it, not trying to force it to happen when you want it to happen or force it to happen at all, having faith in the universe. And it's like, you don't know that, like, you may not know that. They're telling you to hang tight. Something's about to manifest for you here when it comes to this twin flame situation. And it, it's because you guys released control and you started going with the flow. You weren't trying to force someone to act right or you weren't trying to force someone to choose you or to change, be, make healthier habits. You have a response. Why do we have this energy about yeah, we have respond versus react here twice. 
expressed from a loving place. Old trigger trauma yields drama, new beneficial thought patterns leading to what? Yeah, somebody's maybe like looking at things differently. You have some type of communication coming in. You're actually helping this person more than you than you know, guys. Like you're helping them by just being you, like just by being your authentic self. But there's something here about like there's a need for you to handle a situation differently when it when it presents itself than you did before. Because you do have something coming in here, like a message, like a, a game changer, surprise, invitation, insights. Somebody's maybe about to realize something about you, too. It's the way that somebody's looking at you is changing. They're getting some type of insight and they're looking at you as like a gift. Huh. What, tell me what this means for this person. Creating reality. Live your best life by design. You have amazing experiences. Freedom, lifestyle, infinite potential. Yeah, it's like they're they're becoming more grateful for you. Little things count. Feel it to heal it. Doing inner work. They're starting to heal. They're trying they're starting to accept something here. Yeah, meeting. Positive shift. Hmm. Let's see. Let's get some more clarity. What's going on here? <laughs> Hold on. What's going on here? Yeah, this is a, somebody you've been going probably in a run or chase or dynamic with, or you've been in some type of on and off again relationship with them. Okay. Repeating a cycle. You guys kind of repeat the same cycle. Tell me more. What's going on here? So, yeah, like, again, like I said, you're focusing on you. Looking your best and looking good while you're doing it, okay? <laughs> looking your best, focusing on yourself, punishing your ex. Mm. Cut out. Yeah, you've, like, maybe cut this person out of your life. It says cutting ties you're, or you're just in separation from them. And you're focusing on yourself. Some of you guys cut your losses. Or you left the situation before you felt like it would get worse. I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, look at this beauty. I told you, you guys are looking very good, very handsome, very beautiful. Intimidated. And this person's intimidated by you. Your beauty stands out. Yeah, very unique. Physical attraction. Boundaries. Okay. You guys are in your empress, emperor energy. You're in your divine feminine, divine masculine energy where it's like you're focused on you. You're doing very well for yourself. You're looking good. You're cutting your, lo you're, you're cutting your losses with situations that are no longer serving you. You're, you're not letting people use you. You're setting boundaries. Like, you guys are, like, being very protective of your energy. But don't, what you don't know is that somebody feels like they cannot hold back from you much longer. Like, they feel intimidated by you. They're seeing you look good. You definitely have set boundaries with this person. You are in separation with them. But I'm telling you, this person does not feel like, because they, they know that nobody compares to you. First love. No one compares to you. First true love. New love experiences. Something is brewing. Yeah, breaking point. Losing emotional strength on the verge. So what does this mean um, for this person? They're on the verge of doing what? What are they on the verge of doing? See, okay, we have broken promises. Uh-oh, third party. What's going on now? Here we go. Plastic. Um, see, they didn't value you. They took you for granted. But we have love and growth on the back of the deck. A love that grows with time needs time to grow. Unexpected lessons in love. They're getting, I told you, they're having some type of clarity about you. Or a breakthrough or an epiphany about you. Mm, what is this third party, though? misled you trust is broken unreliable what does it have to do with third party what's third party okay what about divine intervention fights what does this have to do with the my club my collective see 
string of bad relationships, karmic cycle. What does this have to do with my collective? Somebody, yeah, wanting to be free, not ready for commitment, independent and happy, single. Okay, what does that mean? What's third party mean for this person? They want to, rec mm, what's reconciliation mean? What? They want to reconcile. <laughs> They're holding back. They do have a fear of this relationship or that, yeah, they don't feel that they can move on from you. They're, they're like suffering in silence. Probably what I'm going to name this reading. They're suffering in silence. Maybe they think that there's competition for you because you're looking very good and focusing on yourself. Yeah, you're very attractive. Yeah, they're thinking about, yeah, they know that you stand out. But what's the divine intervention? Angels are helping. What's the divine intervention? Jealousy. What? I'm so, options. I'm telling you. Mm -hmm. They are not feeling great right now, y'all. So what is the divine doing that's making this person feel this way? The divine, it says angels are helping trust the divine plan. Okay, so maybe they're just saying that it's a part of the divine plan. Believe in miracles. But yeah, like this person thinks there's competition for you. Yeah, this is an X. I don't know why the cursed card is here though. Healing. What's up, dude? What's... They see a future with you, but what does the string of bad relationships have to do with this connection? See, yeah, what, what's who's this karmic connection? Abundance? What's karmic connection mean for this person? They maybe have to give up a karmic or something. They have to, what do they have to give up? Is it another person? I don't know, but whatever it is that they're going to do it, whatever the blockage was, if it was a karmic, they're giving it up. Yeah, this person's getting jealous. They think that there's competition for you. But this person took you for granted. They were trying to keep things very surface level with you. And there was an unequal give and take. They made you feel unappreciated. I don't know, y'all. What's up with this third party shit? What's the third party situation? Okay, well, we have third party coming out again. What about it? See, there's a there's a karmic or something in the mix, y'all. What does this have to do with their situation with my collective? See, not wanting to be free, not ready for a commitment. Independent, happy, single. Tell me more. All around them. Who, but what is the, the cursed and third party? Like, who is that? A phone call? Okay. Playing games. Karmic connection. Who is this karmic? What about happiness? Bad intentions. Addiction. New cycle. Hmm. What is this person's complicated, guys? Because they feel like they love you. They feel, they feel you heavily. You guys are energetically connected. They think of you a lot. But they just aren't ready for a commitment. I want to see, though. Let's see. What's up with this person? I'm going to get up some channel messages really quick. And then I'm going to do maybe a few third party cards. I don't like doing that. but What's up with this person? What's the problem? <laughs> right now, I'm struggling with addict. Okay, we did have addictions that came out. That could be the third party for some of you. Right now, I'm struggling with addictive behavior. I don't know how or when to stop, and it's making things difficult for me, too. I need emotional support and better ways to express my frustrations about life. Mm. I feel like I've known you my whole life. I feel like I've always known you, even in past lives. I feel like I can speak to you in my thoughts, and you can hear everything I'm saying. I never, yeah, th there's that telepathic communication. I never expected I would be so tethered to you, but I feel like we are inseparable. <laughs> Yeah, they don't feel like they can get away from your energy or they don't feel like they can let you go. I wish things could be different between us. I wish I could go back in time and make different choices. I don't know how to talk with you about this because we have not been able to see eye to eye. I care very much about what happens next, but I don't know how to get there. Hmm. All right, let's do one more. As much as I love how you shower me with attention, I find it a little clingy. I am not used to someone making love so simple and transparent. This person's used to toxic relationships, guys. I don't know. I'm so used to playing cat and mouse. Yeah, didn't I say runner chaser? That's what this person's used to. 
I am used to games. Yep. I need to learn how to see attention as a good thing. So you presented this person with a healthy form of love and a, wanted to have a healthy relationship dynamic with them. And they didn't know how to handle that because they're not used to that. They don't even know how to be in a healthy relationship. What? I wish I could tell you this, but I don't know how. I'm not very good at confrontation. So I hide my feelings and I just agree with you about most things so you don't get upset with me. I need more gentle questions and conversations. I need help opening up. So this person does not know how to handle handle confrontation and they don't they don't know how to handle assertiveness. OK, like when you're very direct with them and very assertive with them, they don't know how to handle that. Again, this person's used to playing games, you know, so and passive aggressive behavior is what I'm hearing. See, I have a lot of temptations around me. I don't know if I can control myself. Sometimes I just want to let loose and not worry about the consequences. Oh, my gosh. I know if I tell you this, I could lose you. I hide a lot of things. I feel stuck and want to overcome my weaknesses. So, yeah, this person has like a wandering eye or like they still like desire. I don't know, guys. They have desires like they have addictions and they could be like they all they have grass is greener syndrome or something like that where they just are never satisfied. They're always looking for the next best thing or something like that. Um, I don't really see that this person has another person, but let's see. It's like they're, they don't know how to communicate, guys. Like they are, so they miss you. They, yeah, they want to be with you or like not, I don't even know that they, they miss you. Okay. They, they want to fix this. Why are they not Tell me more about their community, what they're really feeling? Yeah. I feel like this is too good to be true. I am doubting that I can trust this love. I'm not used to being loved the right way. Exactly. And I don't know how to feel, how not to feel suffocated by it. You didn't do anything wrong. I just need time and space to figure this all out for myself. Mm. Let's travel the world. So some of you guys, you maybe talked about traveling with this person, going on adventures. Let's travel the world and make all of our dreams come true. Let's be the envy of everyone else in love because our love shines brighter than theirs. Why does this person care about what people think? What? With you, I can do anything. With you, I feel free. You are my guiding light. That's what I was saying. What are, let's, let's backtrack a little bit here, guys. This person feels like you are a, like, they're seeing something differently about you. Where was it? Yeah. Um, yeah, they feel like you, you can help them or that you have helped them. They feel like with you, they could, like, achieve much more than they could achieve on their own. Or since they met you, like, their future looks a lot brighter or something like that. Like you have, you're guiding this person toward the light, like seeing the truth or getting clarity about some things. It's so weird because there's like conflicting energy here. It's like part of this person feels like very free with you, like, but it also scares them. And then they start feeling suffocated. It's so, because it, it's like their insecurities start sinking in. That they have a hard time trusting what they feel with you. Like they do feel like they can be themselves with you. They do feel free with you. But then there's like that trauma or like that, those insecurities that start seeping in. And then they start feeling like, okay, no, no, there's, there's no way that I could find a connection like this. Like this has to be too good to be true for me to feel this with somebody. And yeah, for me to have been blessed with somebody like this. Okay. So we have career and finances focused on work, but work affecting love life, trying to improve their finances. Okay. We have too late. Feel it's too, yeah, they're suffering in silence. They may feel like it's too late or they're starting to feel like it, they, it's getting to that point where it's going to be too late because we did have that breaking point energy, that volcano energy where it's like somebody feels like they need to take some type of action and quickly. They've been taking forever and a lifetime to really decide if they want to completely surrender to this. Feel it's too late to fix things. Feel pressure to make a decision. Taking a long time to decide. See, there's somebody else here. I keep picking, yeah, look at this, walking away. They're, but they're walking away from that, that situation. There's somebody here. It doesn't even have to be one person. But guys, see, we have sexually hurt. They can have a sex addiction. Yeah, it looks like there's another person here. Addicted to sex, frequent sexual encounters, intense sexual chemistry. Oh, Lord, here we go. There's somebody that this person chose over you, okay? Because we have walking away, leaving someone behind, ending a love triangle, tired of the emotional mess. They're walking away from somebody. 
this rival energy, strong, somebody who had a strong influence on your person. And I was hearing that for some of you, it's not even one person. It could be that they had multiple people they were messing around with, or it cannot even be like a romantic, somebody that they were sleeping with or romantically involved with. All right. But they were choosing. Tell me more about this rival. Who is this rival? Mm, it's going to take a while. Many ups and downs, lessons to learn. Who's this rival? Self-care, putting yourself first, healthy choices, bringing balance to your life. What does this have to do with the rival? Somebody that's probably not good for them. Playing dumb, pretending not to know the truth, doing anything to avoid change, avoiding responsibility. What are they walking away from? It could be a marriage for some of you. Married man, woman wants to marry you, taking love to the next level. Who is this rival though? Mm. Guarded. I don't know, y'all. Um, It's like, I don't even know if it's a person. But we do have fooling both of you. Or it's like they have selfish intentions. Want their cake and eat it too. I don't even know if it's a person, to be honest with you guys. I do feel like they maybe have like a sex addiction. Who is, what's the dynamic between them and this person? Who is this rival? Is it a person? See, I don't think it is. It could be, the rival could be a jealous person. Who is the rival? They're spying here. Ghosting? Stringing you along as plan B. But see, we have indestructible and everlasting love. Surviving it all, you will stay together. Mm -hmm, guys, I don't know who this other person is. It's going to be different for all of you. It's somebody that they don't love. That's all I know. Something that, yeah, they could have been staying in. If it was another person, they were staying in it because of sex or money. Or because of some type of personal benefit. Mm. Workplace affair, fooling around at work, having an affair at work with a coworker. It could be a coworker. Hmm. I don't know, y'all. What? Tell me more about what they're walking away from. Leaving someone behind, ending a love triangle, tired of the emotional mess. See, it's somebody that they were like dishonest to both, selfish intentions, want their cake and eat it too. See, it could be something to do with like a person they work with. Fooling around at work, having an affair with a coworker, uses work as an excuse. Half truth. Yeah. There's more to the story, secrets and lies, not who they claim to be. Huh. Illusion. Yeah, is it love or an illusion? Your reality may be an illusion, not seeing the truth. Clarity, but they're getting clarity. They're coming out of an illusion. Gaining a new perspective. Yeah, that what? They want to clean up their life or something that they want to clean up. They are mirroring you. Constant yearning to reconnect. Soul connection. They're realizing that this is a soul connection. Yeah. Somebody that was maybe manipulating them or something like that. I don't know, y'all. There was something. It's going to be different for all of you. It could be friends for some of you. They feel like you're, they feel drawn to you. Yeah, they feel very drawn to you. That's why I don't like getting into the third party because the third party could be anything and it's going to be different for all of you. So I do see there is a third party blockage here though. Whatever that is, friends, family, an addiction, money, work. Another person, a husband, a wife, whatever it is. Take it how it resonates. So we have Knight of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. We have Five of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. Six of Wands in reverse. Mm. Justice in reverse. Okay, so if they were married, guys. All right, if this person was married. I feel like this person thought that they were going to have some type of success or something.
I feel like you said something to this person. You were very direct with them and you told them, told them how you felt and you set your boundaries. And that was that. Right. And I told you this person does not know how to take to this. I feel like for a lot of you, like when you guys are very assertive with this person, this person may not even respond to you. They don't know what to say. They don't know how to respond to that. But I feel like what, give me, give me more clarity on what the Knight of Swords is. We have Libra energy here too. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like you set boundaries. And what is the five of pentacles? I feel like you guys have been, do see, what is the, this person I feel like was planning to come toward you after they, like, something improved in their life. Like, they were maybe going through financial issues or health issues or some type of adversity in their life. And I felt like, I feel like when they thought that, like, they were going to rush towards you or come towards you once they improved that situation, but with the six of wands in reverse, that didn't happen. They're failing. Like nothing is going right for this person. Like, so this is somebody that maybe cut you off, right? They cut you off or they moved away from you or let you walk away from them. And they were like, oh, it's okay. Like, I'm going to just focus on getting my money together. I'm going to focus. I'm going to, and possibly even, I don't know. Like, I won't say they were maybe using somebody else or they were like, I don't know, guys. They went, they went towards another situation that they thought was going to benefit them more or get them more ahead in life or something like that. Another person, another situation, another like game plan that didn't include you that they what they wanted to do things their way. They thought that their way was the right way. Okay. And I feel like for some of you, you've blocked this person, but I just feel like you guys have really stood your ground. Like you're very assertive with them. Yeah. And I feel like this person thought that they had a plan that was going to be successful to reach some type of goal or achievement or to improve their finances or to get themselves out of some type of obstacle or something like that. But I feel like that didn't work out. I'm also hearing that for some of you, this person thought that you were going to fail or something like they didn't think that you were going to be okay without them or something like that. They didn't think that you were going to do so well for yourself and be okay without them. I think that this person thought that you would just come in and maybe try to recover this situation, fix things. Maybe that's what you always did. Um, and this person was being very egotistical, but I feel like you guys are not trying to make things. You're not balancing the scales with this person. Like, you're not going to be the one. Tell me about the six of wands in reverse. What's this failure? We have the world. So we have Libra energy here again. And we have the six of cups. Oh, what does this have to do with this person? Conflict. Why? The star. The three of pentacles. What does, that do? what does this have to do with my collective? The ace of wands. The Ace of Swords. You're having a new beginning. I just feel like, and what's and what's the what's their energy like? I feel like they're not doing well. They're trying to heal. They want to they want to heal this, guys. I don't know why. Why are they wanting to heal this now? Yeah, they feel like you guys can have the Ten of Cups, ultimate happiness and fulfillment. But what's the Tower? See, that's that volcano energy. They've had some type of awakening, sudden change of mind or a sudden change of heart, a revelation that what? That you guys can have the Ten of Cups? Why? See, why is the Knight of Wands here? We have Scorpio energy. We have um, Aries Leo Sag. Yeah, they were. Well, why are the Four of Wands now? They want to move towards something stable now. They may even want to rush into something, guys. They maybe even want to rush into. A, a committed situation. Why? That's see, that's what I don't like. Why? Mm, they have regret. All right. They're yeah, nine of cups. They maybe found their independence from something. I don't know, guys. Let's see. Why is justice in reverse though? I just like you're not oh like if they're not gonna come in and take accountability and if it's still they're still going through maybe some le some type of legal situation or if it's not going to be an equal give and take, they need to come in and apologize. I feel like you guys are not open to anything less than that and something balanced and reciprocal. Tell me about why justice in reverse. See, something from the past. 
What does this have to do with the collective? Yeah, you're, you're, you're thinking about how this person treated you in the past. Or some of you guys know that they still need to get something from the past sorted out, like a divorce. So tell me more. Yeah, they want to reconcile, but what? There's a but here. See, yeah, magician in reverse. The Empress. It's like, why was this person not seeing who you were? It's so weird. They want to reconcile because they've had some type of awakening about who you are. And I don't know. And it's because now you're standing your damn ground. Like, what is it? <laughs> this person is seeing who you are now. They were stuck in some type of illusion about you. They couldn't see that you were the emperor or the empress, right? But they're wanting to reconcile because they're seeing. Tell me about the magician in reverse. Aries energy, Taurus energy here. This person was thinking that you were the queen of pentacles in reverse. Why? See, queen of cups in reverse. What does this have to do with the collective? Yeah, there's a third party here, guys. I'm telling you, who is this third party? Somebody that's causing delays or they've been indecisive about you and this person. Or if it's none of those things, guys, they had a false perception about you. I don't know why. What, what is creating this false perception of you? Yeah, the Knight of Wands again. What about it? The Ace of Pentacles in reverse. The High Priestess, the Ace of Cups in reverse. Hmm. I feel like it was their own insecurities. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, insecurities. Yeah. If there wasn't a third party here, tell me about the Three of Cups. Yeah, the Three of Cups. Yeah. They haven't been coming towards you to try to, yeah, come back together, collaborate. Because they feel like Cancer Energy. Death, Scorpio Energy. They feel like you're done done with them. That's what I feel like. They feel like you're really done with them. You guys are maybe very harsh with them the last time you guys spoke. Yeah, they're in regret. They feel like a failure. Yeah, disappointment, grief, pessimism. Yeah, they're pessimistic, feeling abandoned or unloved. Yeah, they don't feel like you love them no more. They feel like they've missed their chances. That's why they're just suffering. They're just kind of suffering in silence. Page of Cups, but they do want a new emotional beginning with you. Yeah, the lovers, the emperor. This is your divine masculine. I mean, this is a twin flame reading. But they're just not talking. They need to speak up. They have, they, see, what is that? Why is the King of Swords in reverse? They're conflicted. They don't know what they want. They, they can't get out of their head. They do need this time, like, to rest and to meditate. And, yeah, they do need sal solitude. They needed some solid. They were very, like, conflicted. I don't know why, guys, but they could not see things clearly. They had a lot going on within themselves and in their head. They needed some time to get clarity. And it's like when they do... They're going to take some type of action here, moving towards a commitment here. The Hierophant, King of Cups, they're getting clarity on their feelings too. They've been resisting their feelings for you. What in the, their own insecurities, they like had a false perception of you. I don't know, guys, that they were not seeing you for who you, who you were. They were seeing you through the lens of their insecurities. That's what I'm seeing. So we're going to take this over to the extended reading. Um, we're going to take a deeper look to see... Um,